Hey, it's Prepper Action, and today I'm putting the final touches on an EDC that I'm building with the Maglite Solitaire. Now, this little flashlight is very small, compact. Uh, it's only 47 looms, so you're not going to be able to mount a uh, search party with it. But in the event of, well, I live in Southern California, if there was an earthquake at night and I'm in a building, I need to find the exit. This would be just the just the flashlight to use. So um, it does come with an extra battery, like I said, 47 looms. But my EDC basically fits into this little drawstring pouch and weighs 10 ounces. It's very lightweight, very compact. You can carry it all the time. Ladies, you can put it in your purse. Uh, they cover some items that I think would be critical in an emergency. If you don't have your bug out bag with you, I usually have a 24 hour bug out bag in my vehicle. In the event that I'm not in my vehicle, I'm in a building, something happens, uh, I got that EDC with me. So stay tuned. Well, the first item in the EDC is the uh, neck gaiter. Keep your, uh, you know, keep dust particles out of your mouth. It's pretty good to have, it's lightweight. Might keep the chill off. Uh, second thing I have is a Frontier filter. Very lightweight, very compact. Like I showed before was the Solitaire uh, mag light. I have a skeletonized Gerber. I always have a blade with me no matter what, but that's in my EDC. That one's lightweight and it's uh, really sharp. I have a small first aid kit, which is compact. I've got Tylenol. I've got, you know, burn cream. I've got just about everything packed in this little tiny container. This was a Q-tip uh, container. I've got triple antibiotic, antiseptic swabs, insect sting relief, and I've got wound seal, blood clotting. So that is very compact for a first aid kit that you carry on you, on your person in the EDC. Uh, next I've got uh, 25 feet of paracord, an emergency blanket. I've got a bandana which is multi-use. And then I got a small Ziploc package here that has $10 in cash in small bills, ones. I've got uh, some bandages. I've got a flushable wipe. We all know what that's for. Antibacterial hand wipes. A face mask uh, for dust and debris in a building if a uh, earthquake would bring a building down. There's going to be a lot of dust particles. I've got from a cannibalized purification tablet kit enough tablets to make four quarts which is one day's worth of water. I've got a small Bic mini lighter. I've got an extra battery and I've got the P51 can opener. Also a sharpie and I'll explain that because this is pretty important this besides the water purification the filter and the first aid kit is one of the most important things in my new EDC and I'll explain that in just a second all right why is the sharpie so important well let's take for example the search and rescue X code where you have a date you have a search unit hazards and notes and number of people dead or alive. Well, we're gonna augment that a little bit. Let's take the uh, whiteboard I have where I almost destroyed. And let's make that X with the Sharpie. Let's say that your family sent you out to go get dog food at the pet store and an earthquake happens or some emergency some calamity befalls you and the whole entire city uh, you're gonna use this they know you're at the building 
go ahead and put the date. I'm going to put uh, today's date. I don't know what today's date is, actually. I'll just do the 27th. And the time. We're going to go with 1,800 hours. And we're going to put that on the building, on the on any part of the building. They know you're there. And they're going to probably go find you if cell coverage is out. They can't get a hold of you. You're going to put the date. You're going to put your name. Written on some wall in the building. So they know the date, the time you were there, your name. And you're going to put down here, OK. You're, you are OK. And here on this side, and you have to predetermine this with your family how you're going to do this, um, write a message heading home because you want to find out if your family is okay after that earthquake. So that is what the Sharpie is intended to do is relay some information for your family to let them know that uh, 1800 hours who you are, you're okay, you're heading home. Now, when you get home, they may have left already to find you at the pet store to get dog food. So, they're gonna leave a note on the outside of the building, your, your home, the same X code with the date. They're okay, they're heading to the pet store to find you. Okay, when you get home, you see that note, you know they're headed to the pet store. They're going to find that note that you left at the pet store, maybe on the front window, the front door, anything that they can find immediately. And they know that you're okay. You're going to stay put at home. They're going to see that note and they're going to go home because they know you're heading home. You rendezvous, no, uh, no casualties, nobody's hurt. Everybody gets information through a Sharpie. Let's wrap this EDC up.